Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Wayne Lux K10 mini laser engraving machine that was kindly sent to me by Wayne Lux and of course you'll be able to find links for this in the description box down below and now of course the first thing we had to do was unpack this and first impressions as we pulled it out of the box was that this thing is actually really small so if you're looking for a machine that doesn't take up much space as opposed to most laser machines that I've seen this is definitely an option for that because it's probably one of the smallest machines I've seen and you can basically fit it more or less anywhere. It's a little desktop machine I would say but at the same time very easily portable obviously because of how small and lightweight it is and for some reason when I see it I just feel like it's something out of a sci-fi film. It just kind of has that look to it and maybe it doesn't help that we've just been re-watching all the Aliens films but it almost looks like something out of those. And then on top of that, a bonus with it is that it comes fully assembled. And I always think that's a big plus, especially if you're a beginner for lasers, because oftentimes you'll actually have to assemble them, some more than others, and it can be a little bit intimidating. So like I said, if you're new to it, something like this where it comes fully assembled, you don't have to worry about that step at all. And you can pretty much just use it straight out of the box, obviously once you plugged it in. So those are all very positive things, I think. Now, of course, the real test comes when you actually start to use it and see what it's capable of. Now, this machine is available in two different versions. So, you can get a 3-watt version and a 5-watt version. I have the 5-watt version here, which is what you're going to need if you want to engrave onto metal, like stainless steel. Which is, of course, very relevant when you're talking jewellery. So, just be aware of that as well if you're looking at this machine. And with that, this machine is also meant to be an engraving machine which is great if you want to personalise a lot of things and especially of course, like I said, jewellery as well. Personalised jewellery is always a very popular thing and even something to maybe start a business with. So this machine could be perfect for just that, if that's your main focus with it. Now the first thing we did was start out with some of the materials that they sent with the machine. So they sent a couple of little plywood pieces here and that's also a thing, obviously with a machine being pretty small, the engraving size area that you have isn't super big, but again, that is really all you need for jewellery, so perfect for that. But like I said, we just started out to first of all see if the machine worked, but then also just to see the capabilities and what settings we would need to kind of go ahead with. So what was actually really handy as well is with the instruction manual, which by the way is super thick, I think there's probably loads of different languages in there, but uh, it's really thick, so you can almost hit someone over the head with that. Not that I condone violence, but with this manual then also came a little piece of paper with, first of all, all the materials listed that you can use it for, double-sided, but also then tells you the recommended settings, which I love when brands do that. So most laces that I've tried don't supply this so you have to kind of figure it out for yourself which can sometimes be a bit of a jungle and obviously it's not to say that these settings are the correct way and the only way to say engrave onto that specific material but it just gives you a really good guideline of where to start and you can then always work from there and fine-tune any adjustments depending what you want obviously and what you're looking for so I really appreciate when brands send this along with a laser it's just really super helpful and also there you can obviously see what the machine is capable of quick and easy. So as you can see here we have stainless steel for the 5 watt one. And you can also see it's coated metal down here. So for instance that would be anodized aluminium. So you can do aluminium for instance, you just have to make sure that it is anodized. So you're not actually engraving into the metal, you're just kind of removing that coating that's on. But otherwise I really appreciate this, so it's another plus. Anyway, getting back to the little piece of engraving on the plywood that we did here. So we just used one of them. It was just to kind of, first of all, get a feel for the machine, but also see what the machine was capable of. And again, like I said, fine tune the settings. So if we were happy with the settings for doing on plywood here, if maybe they were a little bit too light or if we wanted to get them a bit stronger. So we started out just making a square and we ended up going over that a couple of times because it was a little bit too light to begin with. So we just kind of kept adjusting the settings a little bit, like I said, but we had a good starting point from that little leaflet thing. And next we just engraved that, which I think turned out really, really good. So it's super detailed and I think that's just the perfect settings as well. I'm really impressed with how that turned out. It's also really fine, but it's super detailed. How I kind of like to look at it is a really good resolution. <laughs> even though that's not what it's called, but that's how my brain likes to think of it. And we just did a little kind of black and white cartoon image of a cat here we found online. 
So this, I think, was a little bit too high on the settings, so this one probably should have been turned down a bit. But again, that's then what you figure out through trial and error and testing, and then see the settings on this maybe could have been turned down to have a bit less singeing and a bit more of the detail shown. But otherwise, I was really impressed with the first impressions of this. But then after that, I had to move straight on to some jewelry pieces, just because that was like the main interest I had in this machine. So I had a couple of blanks from previously that came with something, I think, at some point. But they're actually really good quality, so I thought, why not start out with them? Again, also just to test it, and if we need it to, adjust any settings. So this was the first one. So, like I said, this is a really nice quality blank. It's pretty thick, and it's just super shiny. So that is the effect. That's also something to be aware of with your settings regarding lasers in general. Your material affects... The result a lot so you can't just expect all stainless steel pieces with the same settings to end up the same result because for instance here like I said this is pretty thick so a thinner piece will maybe react differently and this is shiny whereas a matte piece would maybe react differently as well so it's all trial and error and you have to test it out as you go now what I was really impressed with first of all I really like the quality of this, it's come out really good. So that resolution I'm very impressed with, it's super detailed. And then what impressed me even more is this is actually a copper engraving and we didn't intend that. Obviously that's just kind of how it ended up being with those settings. So you've actually got the colour engraving there and it's a beautiful metallic copper. So I'm very impressed with that. That was just a coincidence, but I now know that for these specific blanks, those settings will give this result. And that is really cool. I think it's so cool that you can achieve color engraving with lasers as well. Blue is a very common color that you'll get and you'll find you get that the most, but this turned straight up copper and I'm so impressed with that. So this was a pretty good first test piece, I would say. It's actually good enough to be a final piece. So since we were happy with the settings, we went straight on and did another one, which was actually the one I intended to kind of have as a final piece, even though the test piece turned out just as good. It's purely because of the shapes, whereas the other shape there isn't really something I personally would wear or use. So I just decided to use that as a test piece, but this one I think is pretty cute. And we just use those same settings that were recommended from that leaflet. So super quick and easy to figure out. And like I said, we just used the laser straight out of the box and did a couple of tests and we ended up with final results really quickly. Again, this has also got that beautiful copper engraving. I think it's so cool and nice when you get copper engravings that aren't just that plain kind of dark, typical engraving. It just adds such a different effect to it. So that is super cute as well, and I'm very happy with how that turned out. In case you're wondering, these two names are the names of our two babies. So Mr. Gizmo and Princess Newt. So I now actually have a couple of finished pieces that I didn't really expect to have that quickly, but they turned out super good. So since it was going super well already, I wanted to try a different blank that I have. Now this is still stainless steel, like the first two pieces there, but it's first of all coated, so you can see it's not the typical stainless steel colour. It's coated to be more of a coppery rose gold colour. And it's also a bit thinner, so there's a couple of different variables. And also it's not glossy like the other ones there. So using the same settings, you can then tell on this one we did not get the same result with that coppery finish, which is why I mentioned that the actual materials that you're engraving onto will affect the final result, even if you're using the same settings, for instance. So it's all trial and error and experimenting with different things. Now, it's still a really nice result because this darker engraving that we ended up achieving on this one is a nice contrast with this background here. So this actually also ended up really nice. And again, super detailed. And I'm very impressed with how crisp and detail this laser is engraving, even on smaller little pieces. Because some of these letters you can see have some really fine little areas to them, but it still did it so well and you can see all of it really nice and clearly. So if again, for just being a test piece, this turned out really good. Now I did also want to try a coated metal like aluminium. So I have these blanks here, which are dog tags. It's like a whole pack with different colors. So I just chose one of the colors where it will be a bit more of a contrast down to the actual aluminium underneath. So like I said, what you're doing here is you're getting the laser to remove this top layer of color, in this case red, and it then reveals the aluminium underneath, which is more of a bright silver. So this makes a really nice contrast for this color specifically. 
and again this did super well so I decided because it was doing so well I wanted to see kind of how detailed and fine it could still go if we did it even smaller so this text you can see this is my favorite quote personally so I just think that would be nice to say put on a dog tag you can wear this and you can always kind of have this close and look at it whenever you need to throughout the day and just kind of remind you of something that brings you up but as for the result of this it is super super impressive because I have tried laces before where it got very I want to call it pixelated obviously that's not the correct term but it's just how my brain thinks of it but you could kind of see the little dots a lot of the times where the laser was engraving but here it is super detailed and very smooth and crisp and clear there is literally nothing here to complain about so I am very impressed with that as well we used the settings that the little leaflet recommended and it just turned out perfectly so like I said I really appreciate when brands add those recommended settings when you get a new laser which unfortunately most don't but this one thankfully did now of course after the blanks have been engraved they just need some chain and clasps adding to them so they can actually be final pieces to wear so I just quickly did that as well now something else I just want to mention is that this machine actually also comes with its own software so there are third-party softwares which most of the time is what you'd have to use but with this, like I said, it has its own software, so that's another step that you won't have to then do separately as well. And it seems to work great in conjunction with the machine. It can do everything that you really need it to, while probably also being a little bit simpler than some of the third-party softwares you can get, which again is a great introduction point if you're more of a beginner, because it can get a little bit complicated sometimes with the software. So the overall experience and impression of the machine is really good. First of all, it's small and compact, so you can easily pretty much put it anywhere. And it shouldn't be in the way but you can also move it around easily if you need to because it's small and lightweight it's ready to use straight out of the box it comes with a list of recommended settings for different materials and honestly what i'm mostly impressed with is the end result and the quality of it i am super impressed with how fine and how detailed the actual engraving is i can definitely say this one is up there among the best ones that i've seen so honestly if you're interested in this for jewelry purposes this is definitely a good contender because first of all it's small and compact and jewelry tends to be on the smaller side so you don't need a massive machine if you just want to engrave on jewelry but also the final result is so good quality that it's definitely something you could even use if you want to start a business with personalizing and engraving jewelry just remember if you want to engrave on metal here you do have to get the 5 watt one but like i said links for everything will be in the description box down below i do highly recommend checking out if you're interested and on the lookout for a machine Otherwise, thank you so much to Wayne Looks for sending this to me to try out and sharing it with you. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.